and we continue. IBM company, one of the leaders in AI for enterprises and especially for ESG. They provide package solutions like IBM Environmental Suit and also have breakthrough technologies. Now I would like to give the floor to Seth Dobrin, Global Director for Artificial Intelligence at IBM, who will speak about the experience of transformation based on AI and he will speak about the approach he developed where he placed human in the center. Hey, good morning. It's a privilege to be here with you today. Uh, it's a privilege because I know I'm speaking with you about a topic at the start of people starting to be together again after so much disruption. And the steady shift for, to digital has been underway for years, for over a decade, largely to the benefit of society and our lives. It's transformed how businesses around the world use AI to engage or operate and engage our customers. But actually, let me start from here. The biological circuits of neurons help to explain a popular machine learning technique that's at the heart of deep learning, artificial neural networks. And yes, today, I'm here to talk to you about machine learning, algorithms, and AI, but not from the perspective you might expect. Trust is the real driver of AI adoption, and it's critical to begin to approach this technology from a human perspective by actually taking a step back. The perspective changes when we look at the broader picture, doesn't it? This image is an analogy from the field where I started my career, human genetics, specifically psychiatric genetics. And operationalizing trustworthy AI at scale starts from growing and maintaining an open and diverse culture that fosters inclusiveness, a culture where AI is human-centered. It's this culture in an organization that allows us to set a proper data and AI governance and ensure the development of AI solutions that are grounded in ethical principles. The path towards trustworthy AI is long. It requires a human-centered approach, rooted in the value of diversity. We use AI to solve humans' problems in order to generate real, tangible value. And I realized with time that almost all the initiatives I led in the beginning of my career have laid the foundation for the creation of this human-centered culture I'm talking about, a culture that is essential for putting trust at the core of AI technologies and generating value for organizations. And it's through this lens of my journey in data and AI that I'm going to talk to you about how to set the basis to instill trustworthy AI technologies in an enterprise. If you think about what's at the heart of data science and AI in the enterprise, it's basically applying the scientific method and using math and computer science to solve business problems at scale, all with the goal of creating net new value. Because data science and AI are grounded in the scientific method, enterprises tend to approach data science and AI programs as a research endeavor. However, when they do, they run the risk of making data science a scam by not tying their programs to real tangible value and putting a human lens on their data science and AI efforts. Prior to joining IBM, while leading the data and AI portion of our digital transformation, I remember taking part in a project about implementing a mobile experience to interact with farmers in India through an app. Everyone on the team, it sounded like it was a fantastic idea. Everyone was really excited about the project until after a design thinking workshop, we discovered that actually the farmers, our end users, could only use the SMS service on their phones, meaning the app was useless. If we had pursued what we thought was a great idea without thinking of the end user first, we would have wasted time, resources, and money. Approaching AI from a human-centered perspective is fundamental. We only provide tangible business value to organizations when we create solutions that solve real human problems. AI is only a means to an end. The ultimate goal is to help and augment humans. And the focus on humans led to the adoption of design thinking workshops in data science, which were adopted to data and AI to better serve both the end user and the data scientists. In addition, the human approach revealed the importance of adequately communicating AI outcomes to the end users. 
which prompted the adoption of data storytelling to transform algorithms into actionable knowledge and concrete business results. Ultimately, this attention to the end users uncovered the need for having well-defined data and AI strategy in order to craft an overarching strategy to help envision a new AI scenario and explain how this scenario may play out. Before even joining IBM, I created a framework aimed at identifying a company's strategic initiatives in data and AI based on the user's needs, and then assessing those initiatives by assigning them a business value. Essentially, realizing that the framework I created didn't scale to serve the growing needs for such a tool. What I needed was a way to fasten time together to gather user requirements on the data they need in order to run their business more efficiently. This led them to the team to adopt a design thinking practice and reinventing them through the lens of this framework. We use design thinking to identify business value problems from a human perspective through a data-driven approach. This was groundbreaking. We use it to identify real user problems, uncover all critical business questions they had, and use those questions to extract the information they, need, they needed. We then turn the information into data sources that the data scientists use to design and develop solutions to, to solve the user's problems by approaching the digital transformation from the human needs and unknown hidden in the business strategy, we provided the business a tool carefully designed to transform data into actionable insights, explaining business dynamics and answering all the critical questions the users have through trusted data at their fingertips. Re-engineering this tool through the lens of a human-centered approach using data-centric design gave birth to IBM Enterprise Design Thinking for Data and AI. IBM Enterprise Design Thinking for Data and AI is a human-centered methodology that illuminates how to employ data and AI to build an AI strategy and an execution model for trusted AI solutions. By bridging the gap between strategy and execution, this framework enables teams to design and build solutions that provide concrete business value to their organizations, all while solving human-centric problems. Putting up front who will be using the data or AI, how they will be using it, what they will be using it for, and why it's even needed in the first place. With this framework, which is divided into a strategy session and a technical session, teams transfer business intent into concrete actions. In addition, by using specific AI ethics and AI explainability activities, this methodology enables the design of an AI strategy that puts trust at the core of every solution that's ultimately implemented and operationalized in the company's business. We started this journey right from here, from this image about the three pillars of trustworthy AI. But as you've probably gathered to this point, trustworthy AI is the result of different integrated processes tools, and technologies that cross the cultural fabric of an organization. The level of maturity by achieved by enterprise teams in the AI realm with the operationalized operationalization of AI models has prompted the need to trust an AI's outcome. And this is possible by creating a data and AI governance framework through which monitoring the entire AI lifecycle to ensure that model tools, models are compliant with AI ethics principles. For us at IBM, these principles are, first, that AI should be transparent, because transparency reinforces trust, and the best way to promote transparency is through disclosure. People need to see how AI works, evaluate it, understand its strengths and its limitations. Transparent in AI shares information, the who, what, where, when, how, and why. Who has access, what data is collected, where and how will it be used, and why is it even being built in the first place. Together. This information provides more insights, similar to how nutritional labels provide information about the foods we eat. Second, AI should be explainable. AI should be able to explain how and why it arrived at a decision, especially if that decision has implications as to the things that person people value most, employment, health, and wealth. Third, AI should be fair. AI can actually help us counter our human biases and promote more equitable treatment. With AI used to inform decisions about people and their livelihoods, it's essential that, essential that businesses work to mitigate bias. Fourth, AI should be robust. As AI becomes more and more part of our daily lives, it also becomes more and more at risk for attack. 
AI systems need to be actively defended in order to minimize security risks so all stakeholders can be confident in the outcome. This means handling exceptional conditions and being built to withstand intentional and unintentional interference. Fifth, AI should prioritize privacy. AI systems need to safeguard consumers' privacy and data rights and provide explicit assurances to users about how their personal data will and will not be used and how it will be protected. They must also be able to comply with the different needs and challenges across highly regulated industry and must understand language specific to each industry, whether it's legal terms, retail terminology, or airport codes. This is how you can operationalize trustworthy AI as you reshape your business for sustained advantage. You don't need to wait for the new, a new law or the UN's approach to take effect to get started. You can build this now. These five principles guide the development of trusted and responsible outcomes, driving more value for companies by making them more profitable, more efficient, and more secure. In fact, companies cannot generate value through AI unless they can trust the outcome of their AI system. Think about the recommendations we get or the information we provide to our customers by, by employing AI. AI is not trustworthy. The link between the business strategy and the AI strategy will inevitably break. Because of the urgent need for companies to define what trustworthy AI represents to their organizations and integrate that knowledge into their actual business processes and operations, I started an IBM-wide effort around creating a trustworthy AI set of solutions. Through these solutions, we help customers deliver trustworthy AI systems and put AI ethics principles into practice through an execution model focused on four different areas that reflect the different needs of organizations today. These areas encompass a mix of tools, IBM technologies, as well as, the, as well as the expertise of our services organizations with creating AI governance frameworks by building with the teams from scratch the conditions to develop trustworthy AI systems. We partner with customers to help plan, build, deploy, and manage new AI, AI solutions while ensuring the trustworthiness of AI to help monitor the full AI lifecycle. We help companies to assess, mitigate, and audit risk meaning we offer guidance and tools to help customers with these processes. And ultimately, we also help with education and guidance by providing the best practices for building trustworthy AI solutions through education and guidance for data scientists, developers, and decision makers, and also by offering standard courses and certifications. Now, this was quite a journey, but it doesn't have to end with this talk. And actually, I hope this is only the beginning of a new conversation. There's still a lot to do to make AI responsible and fair. That's why it's crucial that experts in this domain make sure to focus their work on changing the narrative around AI by putting a genuine effort into creating trustworthy solutions that can truly empower humans by, bring, by human beings by helping us to reimagine a better and fairer future. Thank you.